Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's Costa Rica going up against Pittsburgh. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here. Here's a speed threat. Derek Jeter. The designated hitter. Derek Jeter. The wind of the pitch. And that is cut on and missed. And we are underway. Late that time, and it's strike two. Harper calls it in, and there's one away. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Bogart's into second. Man at second with one away. Yeah, the batter now, Pudge Rodriguez. It's interesting. You have spring training, wonderful weather, and then most teams go north, and it's chilly. So hitters have to kind of get through that for the first month and a half, and then everything evens out. Man at second. Base hit. Here comes Bogarts around third. The throw in. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat. And now here is Sammy Sosa. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The guy that I've encountered that hates the cold weather the most, Mookie Betts. I mean, he grew up in Tennessee, so it's not exactly like balmy there I mean it gets a little chilly in Tennessee but under 60 degrees he will wear two sets of batting gloves one on top of the other and sometimes he'll wear not one set of thermals but two sets of long johns over top one another and the pitch foul ball there the 0-2 swings and misses struck him out Here's Francisco Lindor. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. The 0-1. Foul ball. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift nope. and Take takes low for ball one in the dirt up with it fires to first but no chance to recover he'll reach after the strikeout just not a good to swing at one reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk snap throw behind the runner but he's safe I think if you ask most baseball fans their vote for greatest catcher of all time would be this man right here Johnny Bench next pitch misses and now 2-0 if Bench isn't the greatest of all time, he's on a very short list. Rookie of the year, two-time MVP, 10 gold gloves. What didn't he do? 
And strike two. And I'll tell you something else about Bench. He was at the heart of one of the greatest teams of all time, that big red machine. And he deserves a lot of credit for their success. Here is Yohan Moncada. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Lindor the move. Ball misses. Throw. Save. Punch too late with the toss. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. So first and second with one man gone. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. In there and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Lindor on second. Moncada at first, one gone. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him. Got it by him for the K. Now the left fielder, Reggie Jackson. Check swing, didn't go. And it's 1-0. And that's in for a strike. It's going to be a long day if they call that pitch for a strike every time. Strike two. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking, is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see. Ah, that's strike three. And the... New inning getting started. Here's Andres Jimenez. Mad Bum back to work. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Moncada gets it to first and quickly one away in the second. Anthony Santander at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Battling here as he fouls it away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now the one. Late with the swing there. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he deals. And George makes the grab. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound. And Castellanos is out. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now batting Robinson Cano. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. That's through there for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. 
Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Here's Bryce Harper. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And a big swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And now it's one and two. That one is absolutely belted, and it's off the wall, but foul. Harper checks his swing. Appeal down to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Adam Duvall at the plate. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Singy Adam Duvall's a guy that's had a nice career, but 2021, the year that was kind of the signature year in his resume. One out and a runner at second. Squirts away a little bit. Rodriguez throws the first, and there's two away. You're best when you let the game come to you. Tried to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. And now it's Josh Naylor. And he grounds one to the right side. Over to first. That's the third out. Inning over. On to the third inning. Now it's the power speed combo. Derek Jeter. Bumgarner back to work. Toss to Naylor. And one away in the top of the third. And here comes Xander Bogarts. Doubled his first time up. Harper makes the grab. Two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Two down, nobody on. Now he breaks his bat. Toss to Naylor. That takes care of Rodriguez. Bottom of the inning, Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. The wind and the pitch. The other way. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. And here's the catcher, Johnny Bench. First pitch doesn't find the zone, but he's back safely. Lindor on at first, nobody out. Swings through that. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. And a pitch. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. And now Yohan Moncada, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's the strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. They put the tag on him, and that's two. Welcome back. Now here is Sammy Sosa. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. The 0 2. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And he swings and misses, and it's oh, up again one. 
Well, right now, this battery is seeing the aggressiveness of the hitters early in the count and often. So got to be real careful that you don't give too good of a pitch, especially early in the count. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. And a base hit right there. And that keeps the inning alive. Two outs, runner at first. Anthony Santander digs in now. And there's a foul ball. Jimenez leads off first with two down to the inning. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Got him. That ends the frame. Bottom four, and the batter is George Springer. And a pitch. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter, and he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stutter. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. Swing and a slow roller. Fires to first on the run. That takes care of Springer. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jackson swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. At the play, Robinson Cano. And a swing and a miss there. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. And that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The 1-1. One, one. To the right side. And that's the third out. Back 
here at the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Daryl George. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. You know, this group of hitters, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But still, they've hit nine line drives so far, and that's something they should feel very good about. Harper makes the catch, and there's one gone. Speaking of those line drives, you can't get too discouraged when they don't drop in for you. It's important to remember that you pretty much did everything right, and that's just baseball sometimes. The 1 Check swing, and he held up. Lindor on the first. And that quickly, two away. Now, Derek Jeter. Harper makes the catch in and over. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Bryce Harper to the plate. And here it comes. Just missed. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Tried to check his swing, appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. And a count one and two. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. In the air, left side. Castellanos gets under it. And that'll get down for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside. Get that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. Harper gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one ran inside, almost got him. The two on. Double play ball to second. On to Bogarts. Relay to first. Double play. Here's Josh Naylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a swing to miss. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Three. Struck him out looking. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's Xander Bogarts. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Chris, Xander Bogarts has turned into one of the best hitting shortstops in all of baseball. He's made the all-star team four times, five times a silver slugger, and Bogey's won a couple of World Series, too. Going two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Pudge Rodriguez now at the plate. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Rodriguez. He's got it, and there's two away. Here's the center fielder, Sammy Sosa. 
Sosa measures six feet even, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic and fouled off. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Papi, Pedro. The list goes on and on. Swung on. Belted. That's back. And gone. That one felt good, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. There's the strike. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Bottom of the six. Stepping in. For Vina back to work. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? And haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Castellanos makes the grab one away. Here's the catcher, Johnny Bench, who's over two in a pair of. Strikeouts. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Castellanos makes the grab. Two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Moncada in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Hammered, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's going to be... Jimenez.